so loud. <laughs> Today, I'm going to talk to you about something uh, quite different. It's about keeping your promises. Because words are very powerful. And I'm going to share with you a story of a young girl who dedicated most of her life fulfilling a promise she gave to her mom as a child. This girl was brought up in Syria and um, for the first 10 years of her life she lived oh that's the little girl <laughs> she lived a very um, unsettled life and due to the circumstance of her life and her parents being away most most of the time uh, she she was a product of the circumstance and she was what many would call a failure she was doing badly in school she wasn't um, she wasn't fit she was overweight uh, uh, she, she wasn't very polite she wasn't very disciplined and it was normal because she she didn't have enough guidance the first 10 years of her life and everybody expected her to be the way she was However, the story didn't continue that way. And there was a turning point in her life. One day when her mom came back from a parents teacher conference, crying and in tears, telling her that, you know, I work very hard to provide you with the life I never had and to give you the circumstance that would make you become even better than I wish to be. So I really want you to, to make me proud. And the girl told, the, told her mom very, very sincerely, Mother, I promise I will make you proud. And it didn't take long for this girl to actually work on her promise. From the very next day, the girl changed, changed her life, changed her mindset, changed everything. She, she went into school with a lot of passion for knowledge. She wanted to become better, to learn, to grow. She started signing herself up in all the activities. She didn't wait for anyone to do anything for her anymore because there wasn't anybody to do anything for her. She did everything for herself. She took responsibility of her life, of what she wanted to be. And she continued that way for the most part of her life. I don't know what part of the presentation I'm in right now, but. Uh, I'm not very good at presenting and talking at the same time. <laughs> Anyways, the girl entered grade five with a completely new perspective. And the girl, bear in mind, didn't even speak proper English. So what you're seeing right now is quite an improvement because there wasn't anyone to speak to her in English when she was growing up. So even her English was poor compared to her peers in class. And there wasn't anyone to do play dates for her or any of that or sign her up in activities, nothing. There, I, there wasn't this privilege. However, when she decided to fulfill her mom's promise and not make people say that she's a product of a misfortunate circumstance, she took the lead and took the lead to fulfill her words and promises to her mother. And it was this one day that she discovered her true passion with this new perspective that she entered the year after. She entered her first science class and she was in love. She didn't only find her heart, she found her passion and found what she would always want to do for the rest of her life. She found science. Science to her was a new perspective to life. It was a very organized and pure and logical interpretation of life. Everything seemed so understandable, like there's a methodology to everything, and there's principles, laws, and theories that guide everything. It was so settled, unlike the life that she was going through back home. So she, she found her passion, she sought out for it, and then came another promise that her mom asked her. Her mom asked her if she could one day discover something, because she realized that her daughter was quite enthralled in science, would find something to make her young and beautiful. And the girl promised again that she will do her best to create something to make her mom young and beautiful. Years passed, and this girl studied chemistry. She um, went to Cambridge to study aging on a biomolecular level and then came back, opened the skin clinic, and is now dedicating her life to making her young and all women alike beautiful and, and, and young. Why I wanted to share with you the story is 
because I find it very important for us to fulfill our promises. We give our parents a lot of promises growing up, but do we actually always fulfill our promises to our parents? There isn't anyone in this world that would love us and want the best for us more than our parents would. And keeping our promise is a form of discipline that we have to teach ourselves from a very young age. And words are very, very powerful. They're actually quite terrifying. And we don't know the importance of, of the words that we utter to not only ourselves, but to our actual future and fate. Because when we utter a word, we're actually uttering frequencies of energy that actually create something in this universe. We don't realize that, but we can actually influence our future. I, I fulfilled my promise both consciously and subconsciously in the second promise I gave to my mom. I found myself meandering towards things that revolved around anti-aging, even though I didn't intend to, but because I gave that promise, it just subconsciously got manifested. So my advice to you guys is to always keep your promises, just like I did. Thank you.